bonus line. What's up, yo? Um, it's your boy Flipnosis. Uh, I'm actually at the airport right now, and I'm headed to come back to Toronto. And, um, going there for a couple of reasons: uh, catch up with some family, um, watch the Celtics and the Raptors, and uh, gonna hook up with my fellow toy collectors. Um, back at it again. Just another quick display. I literally just uploaded uh, episode 37 onto YouTube, but um, I still wanted to get more shots in. Move this out. And what I'm doing is a simple scene with Link. Um, what I got going on here is I found this, as I mentioned before, I found this treasure, this little treasure chest at a local Dollarama. Um, and I figured it'd be good for a scene like this, uh, where Link uh, was opening up um, treasure treasure chests uh, just to find something. So I wanted to enhance, I guess, as soon as he opened that treasure chest, I wanted to give him that facial expression. Just because, obviously, I think that would be better than a plain expression. It looks like he's shocked to see something. Um, and what I did here was... Um, I still had a couple of finger lights. Um, I put some tack on the bottom and then just kind of angled that up towards Link face just to simulate, you know, another a glowing light. And what I'm doing as well is I'm utilizing this door that I built for the Dio and I have orange light coming through. So once everything is put together, you have all these multiple lights everywhere and it makes the picture a lot more bigger than it actually is because in all honesty I'm just taking a picture of Link in the treasure chest but then what I'm doing is putting all these other objects around it to fill the space so to the left you see that red light and then I just threw in some of those uh, pillars as well I don't know why my video was so fuzzy What up, yo? Just doing a quick display. Uh, I got that Marvel Legends Omega Red figure. Shout out to CJ for holding on to this for me. Really, really appreciate that. And just have him in a quick display. Um, just kind of want to show off uh, his hand uh, with those. Um, I'm not sure what they're called. Tendrils. I don't know there's a name for it, but but I forgot. And just have Wolverine in the background. Um, have it a dio. I got three light sources. Got this one, which is diffused with some tissue paper. Uh, that light is directly for the hand. Got a yellow light bulb directly onto Wolverine. And then my backdrop got a piece of construction paper, and it's um, leaned up right up against it, just so I can get that really really bright effect um, and a hint of color. And this was something that I remember seeing from uh i think it was first appearance of mega red um where it's just his hand that's um in focus and i th believe there's wolvi gambit and somebody else and i thought it was a really cool concept and i just wanted to emulate it um nothing really special but um i just want to do a quick shot that's it all right y'all Oh, on the next one. Pokey po po on the beat, eh?
play, you know when you play cards with your whole game and there's like, you lost his language in life? Back from Toronto, um, it was a great time. Um, shout out again to my brothers, uh, Mike, CJ, and Kevin. Um, I know we, we literally saw each other for a couple of hours at the end of the night on a Friday. Uh, I watched the Raptors and the Celtics game on Friday, ended around 10-ish. So we met at a uh, bar nearby. Um, it was pretty cool. Um, or CJ mentioned it. We, none of us have ever been there before. It's a bar, um, but um, had like a gaming theme. So I guess each section, um, each uh, area had a, a big plasma screen TV and a game console, whether it be the Xbox, the PS4, um, or a Nintendo Switch or a Wii. And you just kind of chill there, have some uh, appies, have some bevies, and you play some vids with your, bu with your buddies. So it was a cool time. Um, I know that was the last place those guys wanted to be on a Friday night. Um, I know they don't live in um, Toronto, let alone downtown Toronto. And I know that's the last place people want to go to on a Friday night. But I appreciate those guys doing the drive and coming out to meet me. Um, I am actually going to head out there soon, possibly um, in December. And uh, I'm going to meet up with those guys. Um, I'm just really, really mad because... Um, um, again, this was a Friday night. I got in late, late, basically early Friday morning, um, was on no sleep and was out literally from the morning to the evening. Um, and my phone ran out of juice. I had no battery left from the day. Uh, I wasn't thinking, I don't know what I was doing. And all I got was that one little video of us, uh, four of us for like five seconds. And then my phone died. I wasn't able to take any snapshots, but it's all good. I'm going to be out there again soon, so thank you guys again. First up are these trio of figs. Um, just normal figures, but I got blessed by the man CJ. Got some uh, accessories. I was actually supposed to grab these from him on my first trip for Mike's wedding, um, but um, just due to timing and shit, it never worked out. So he, he blessed me with these. Um, first, I'm going to take you to the Doc Ock. Got him the uh, lab coat uh, with some holes in the back, so I'm able to plug in these tentacles. I hate these tentacles, by the way. I think uh, I've seen uh, uh, people on Instagram do the mod with the USB light so I can get movable tentacles. I'm going to do that soon, eventually, but I really like the way the, the lab coat fits. It's the perfect fit for his uh, pot belly. And uh, it's really nice, and it's pretty cool because it has, actually has pockets on the side. Put his hands uh, in his pocket, so he's just kind of relaxing and chilling. I, I really, really like that. Um, got Mysterio. I did not like the Mysterio cape. Um, in fact, I think um, moving forward, we shouldn't have any uh, plastic capes anymore. Um, should be all wired. Um, so this is wired all the way around. Um, and it allows me to give that classic um, look here with the, uh, the bunched up cape, the curled up cape. There is a mod to this. Um, I'm not gonna tell you guys how it's done, um, but please make sure you guys hit up CJ's website. I believe it's cjesim.com. And um, I think unfortunately the capes are sold out right now, but I know he has tons of other products out. Um, quality on this not sure how close I can get is really really nice the stitching is really really nice it's like a uh, I wouldn't say velour I guess velour on the inside so it's it's like a fabric on the inside and a shiner shinier fabric on the outside looks really nice and I can't wait to um, get this Mysterio out in some nice displays really really dig the look and this, um, I think this was a sample. Um, he was messing around when this Marvel Legends Blade figure first came out with a coat. And um, I think in our group chat, I mentioned, hey, CJ, let's get a, uh, a leather coat with some red in the back. And I think he did one. I'm not sure if he went forward. I don't think he went forward with the full, full release, but I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be on the way. So he was able to um, give me this sample. And it's really nice. 
it's a I guess a pleather material um, and as you can see it's wired all the way around red on the inside um, it's not really restrictive as you can see I got uh, the elbows uh, moved here it's just this figure is horrible this blade figure um, but with the coat uh, you can make it look a lot nicer so it's definitely a uh, upgrade this guy was um, the bottom of the uh, the basket in terms of figures now with the coat just kicked it up a notch so yeah that's dope so appreciate that CJ CJ also hooked it up um, with this Omega Red figure I've been searching funny story is that ever since this wave of X-Men was released I wasn't able to find a Bishop or a Omega Red only two figures that I wanted from that wave sorry what was that the, the Sauron wave yeah and um, could never find it online or in store uh, so CJ um, accidentally bought another one on Amazon and he asked if anybody wanted it. and I said hey hold it for me I'm gonna be there soon and uh, when we met up he was able to give this to me it's a dope figure I really really like it I've never had the um, whoa I just noticed this had butterfly joints we'll get a load of that <laughs> That's dope. Um, uh, again, it, it did come with the longer tentacles, um, but it's not bendy. Um, see if I can try to mod something. And my man, uh, Mike Wang, was able to get this Bishop figure for me. I'm not sure. I think he was uh, just on a run, found it, and uh, he knew I wanted it, so he picked it up for me, and I was able to grab it from him. So that was pretty cool of him. I appreciate you, Mike. Thank you. Um, this Bishop figure is nice, much needed. I never had, actually both these figures, I never had the Toy Biz versions. Um, so it's just nice to add them to my collection. And I think right now, pretty much all in on the X-Men wave. So anything X-Men, uh, I'm definitely gonna cop for the collection. Nothing big here. Um, Usagi Yojimbo, um, definitely on a Samurai wave, Ninja wave right now. Um, not really the nicest figure, but with a couple of mods. Um, when I'm mods, I mean, all I basically did was cut off his, uh, his ears at the top so he can wear this, uh, this hat here. Um, and I think it looks a hundred times better. These two guys out, uh, messing around with them. Uh, I watched Batman Ninja, uh, on my flight and it was, uh, it was, uh, it was okay. It was a lot faster than I, I would have liked I was thinking to myself did I miss something is this like a part two because it just moved so fast it went from like new development to the next development uh, right away but overall it was just again I'm a sucker for ninjas I'm a sucker for samurais and messing around with these ninjas on the table when I got home uh, I'm gonna take some uh, flicks of these guys also when I got home um, I finally found this spider punk um, I know nothing of the character, uh, know nothing of him. I think he does look pretty cool. Um, but then uh, I started playing the uh, that Spider-Man game on PS4, and um, I picked up I picked up the uh, suit. So it took a year, but uh, I guess we finally finished the uh, Fantastic Four uh, Walgreens exclusive wave, um, and I'm a little underwhelmed. Um, so much more for the Mr. Fantastic, Visible Woman, and the Human Torch. I mean, um, I could have used a Power Down Human Torch. Uh, I know a lot of people bought a second Mr. Fantastic and um, used another head sculpt to get a Power Down Human Torch. I couldn't find another Mr. Fantastic, so, I mean, this is what I have. I will say that the, um, the winner of uh, these four figures is definitely a thing. Um, just the detail on him is, is friggin amazing I mean each each rock in his body is sculpted in addition to being sculpted um, it was washed with the uh, black just to uh, uh, to bring out all those lines and they did a really good job and the fact that he came with additional um, hands and additional head. Nope. The only thing I don't like 
is the way the wrists look just because it looks like it it doesn't get too thin or narrow and it just looks kind of off to me um, it doesn't look seamless but I guess that's for the joints to move up and down again it just looks like he's wearing a jacket but um, it's all good it's just nice to have I think we finally have a definitive thing and last but certainly not least um, happy Halloween to everybody hope y'all guys uh, had a good time and everybody uh, was uh, showing out in their costumes everybody had their candy their chocolate and most importantly hopefully everybody was safe um, so I guess this is my little version of Halloween type of theme uh, so I got Morbius going up against spider-man and um, I didn't shoot this yet officially I think I'll save that for next episode because I'm actually working on a dio where I can use these two together but I just wanted to show you guys um, this is that classic artwork forget who did it but uh, where Morbius has spider-man over his head so right now it's uh, um, NSA no strings no stands attached um, it's pretty much been posed like this for the last couple of week weeks and I can kind of feel the joints on the uh, Morbius leg give out just due to the weight but um, he's still standing still there so I'm gonna clean up this pose get him in a shot and uh, that's my behind the scenes right now guys all right y'all on the next one for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe catch you guys on the flip side keep creating peace